Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to compare some cheap boxing gloves with some expensive boxing gloves. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here. And today's video, I'm going to compare some cheap gloves like these Everlast Elite Pro Style gloves with some more expensive ones like these Reyes and these John Gollum gloves. Now, to start off with these Everlast Elites, these are pretty common. You can find in sporting goods, department stores, Target, Walmart, uh, Dick Sporting Goods, Big Five, at least here locally in the States. They're synthetic leather uh, with a mesh palm. Um, price range is usually anywhere between 35 to 50 bucks, just depending on where you purchase from. Um, so you have these, these are pretty much your entry level run in the mill Everlast glove. Then we have Cleto Reyes, which pretty much needs no introduction, full genuine leather construction, made in Mexico. These are the WBC edition, the only difference is just the colorway. Uh, but these are kind of the gold standard uh, for quality, especially when it comes to Mexican made gloves. Got these in 14 ounce. Uh, I got these elites uh, in 16. And then lastly is gonna be the, the American made John Gollum glove in 14 ounce. Again, full leather construction made here in the United States. And John Gollum is actually the family that founded Everlast. So they're the, actual, the original Everlast before they um, sold the company out to what it is now, this big corporation. Uh, but John Gollum, I believe they're in Pennsylvania, made here in the United States. Just a beautifully crafted glove. Um, so we can kind of just look at all three of these gloves and kind of compare the big difference. Now, price-wise, these are anywhere from 35 to 50 bucks. Reyes, just depending on where you get it from again, Average is about $180 to $200. John Gollum's are a lot higher. These are $450. Bucks. So you can definitely see there's a huge price gap between these Everlast and these John Gollum's. And even with the Reyes and the Everlast, um, you have that big price gap. Now, obviously, when you start with an entry-level glove, you're typically going to get like a synthetic material. With this, the synthetic leather they use on here is very thin. You can see that it it's kind of has a lot of slack on it, the way it actually... Uh, adheres to the foam on the inside has more of a tackier cheaper feel to it you know the stitching is okay it's kind of doesn't have double stitching you have kind of these just very um parts where threads are kind of coming loose uh they utilize this mesh palm on this everlast glove which is very thin so this is definitely going to rip um once you start using this a lot for heavier use you can actually see my fingers right through it typically the seams on these entry level gloves is where you're going to start seeing a lot of tearing. Um, grip bar feels pretty generic. It doesn't feel dense at all. It feels pretty, uh, pretty flimsy. You can just see the flimsiness of it and the material, how much slack you can grab right there. Um, you know how you, you have a, a attached thumb that uses just a piece of nylon, and the, the foam consistency. They use layered foam in here, but it's definitely cheaper, and you can feel like little bumps and divots in the foam. Like I don't know if you can see it, but when I rub my thumb right here, you can actually feel just kind of the inconsistencies of me using this glove. And then you have the Velcro strap, which is a three and a half inch Velcro strap. And they use this kind of a cheaper elastic on here. So again, durability with it, it's not the best. I you typically like the full wrap around Velcro strap like you see here, that's made out of full leather. And again, this is all synthetic. And then you have that uh, satin liner on the inside that's made out of nylon. I believe these gloves are made in China. And this is definitely more of like a mass produced glove that you would see again, like at the department store, big sporting goods, stuff like that. The elastic piece right there in the middle. And then you have the weight tag in there. And let me see if I can find where these are actually made. I don't know if it actually has the XL, it just says XL there, let's see on this side. But I'm pretty sure these are made in China, but you can see the actual glove itself, you know, has a decent balance on it right there and these are the elite models where they use uh the full piece foam on the back of the glove you do have about maybe almost an inch three quarters of an inch of padding on the back of the wrist on the front of the wrist it'd say about like an eighth of an inch but it feels pretty pretty flimsy and when you slide your hand hand in here it just feels it has good good ergonomics to it a pretty deep finger pocket but you can feel the stitching on the inside of the gloves and the, the liner is super baggy. So I'm not a really big fan of that. Um, you can see you can open and close your hand relatively well, but the biggest issue here is gonna be durability. It's gonna end up ripping the more I use this, especially this palm where you can actually see my hand go through there. 
Um, and then the inconsistency with the foam padding. So you kind of get what you pay for with that. I don't feel like I get the best support with this, this Velcro strap because you're not getting the full wraparound with that. Next up, you're gonna have the Reyes gloves. Again, you can see full leather construction. No issues with extra slack between the leather and the latex foam they use in here, which is a high quality latex. Uh, one piece, so you can see there's no seam on here. Um, same thing with this here on the Everlast, but there's no seam on here. You can see the stitching is beautiful, double stitching throughout, uh, where the Everlast just uses kind of a single stitching on it. Um, you can see here, this is double stitching, ventilated holes. Um, here's a little bit of threading right there on the fingertip, but overall looks really good. The leather's tucked in nicely, full leather attached thumb, stitching on the side looks good. You can see where they reinforce it. And the padding is, is nice also. So you have about a half inch of padding on the inside of the wrist, as well as on the back. And this is a triple cuff on the wrist. So you get that protection on the back of the wrist as well as on the front. Um, and then you have uh, a nice satin liner. These are made in Mexico with all the tags. But you can just see the, the difference in the stitching. The leather quality is nice and thick. You can see the grain of the leather. Everything is nice and tight. The grip bar is really good too. Nice and thick and dense. It doesn't flip flop around. Um, the logos look great. The patch on the back looks really nice, high quality. The hinge point looks really good. So you can just see the quality between this and like the Everlaster. It just feels a lot cheaper. Single stitching. It just doesn't feel like an expensive glove at all. And again, you get what you pay for. Now the John Gollum gloves, again, these are another step up. About a $450 glove. I took the laces, these were a hybrid version, but I took the laces out, that way you can see it better. But you can see again, just the quality of the leather on here. It reminds me of like a high quality handbag. Double stitching, welted seams for durability, nice grip bar, ventilated holes. And you can see the extra care they put into this glove or they add stitching to really reinforce it. Attached thumb with leather. And uh, the foam they use in here is really nice, high quality. You can see when you push down on the knuckle area, it has a medium density to it. Good for sparring and bag work, but you can see no imperfections with the actual foam. The leather feels nice, beautiful leather. You know, the Velcro strap is really nice as well. Here's the seams on the side, and you can even see the piping, just the John Gollum made in USA. And this one you do have kind of more of a soft canvas liner. The Reyes again uses more of that satin liner, so. You can see the Reyes and the John Gollum are just steps above, levels above the entry level Everlast. And obviously it's not a fair comparison, but for the sake of just showing you these two expensive gloves compared to a cheaper one, this is typically what you're getting when you pay a higher price or a premium price. You're getting a more premium product for the most part that for, you know, for the most part, the, the craftsmanship is a lot better. You're not getting something that's mass produced. So this is handcrafted by artisans here in the United States and in Mexico. Actually, this is a single man show. So one person make, making these gloves custom. And then you have a smaller factory in Mexico making Rea. So you're, you're getting much better quality control. And somebody that's been doing this for a very long time, that's taking their times really building this glove out. So when you're paying a higher price, that's essentially what you're paying for is the labor and the attention to detail. And obviously the quality of the materials is also better when you're going up this this level. Where with these, these are just kind of churned out, pushed out the door, and obviously are much cheaper. Now, would I recommend these cheaper gloves? It just depends. I mean, these for 50 bucks, I wouldn't because I would spend another 20 to 30 bucks and maybe upgrade to like some Venom Impacts or $50 more and you're, you're in the range of like Infinitude, Sabas, maybe a little bit more and get Top Boxer, which those gloves are all genuine leather and they're just much better craftsmanship and much better durability than these entry level Everlast Elites, which will definitely fall apart and just don't have the fit and finish um, that you want in a boxing glove. I call these toy gloves just because they, they're just more for like, I mean, you can use them for training, don't get me wrong, uh, but they just won't hold up if you're ser really serious about boxing. So, you know, the general rule of thumbs, I will say, spend a little bit more and give yourself a little bit better quality and something that won't fall apart and will be more comfortable and just better for your hand ergonomics. So there you have it, man. Cheap gloves versus some higher end, more expensive gloves. That way you guys can kind of just see the difference in the quality between these three. 
and kind of get an idea if you're starting off in boxing maybe you're looking at getting some new gloves what you're really getting yourself into so if you guys have any questions or comments make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box i'll put the link in the description box and where you can find all three of these gloves and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching